I started off as an intern at Pixar uh, 16 years ago. Everyone, Bonnie made a friend in class. Oh, she's already making friends. No, no, she literally made a new friend. Ah! <gasps> I worked on Cars and The Incredibles and Ratatouille, all as a story intern. I was in the story department, and then I became a story artist, and then a writer, and then a head of story. Now I'm directing Toy Story 4. I thought those movies were done, dog. They made three movies. They did make three movies. This is number four. Being in the story department, you would get to direct these little scenes, and then present them to the director, and so you learn so much about staging and choreography. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yes. Duke, we need Hold to... on, one more. Oh, yeah. Oh. The advice I'd have for young filmmakers is to tell your own story. The interesting thing that I've learned is that the more personal your story is, it's actually more global. I am not a toy. Freedom! Everybody is different, and everybody has their own stories inside of them. <laughs> My favorite character from all the Toy Story films is Woody. All these movies are about him. Working on this film, we watch Toy Story 1 through 3 constantly. In Toy Story 4, when Forky comes into the room, you are a toy. He's not going to be jealous. He can't. He's already experienced that, so he takes him on as a mentor. You are going to help create happy memories that will last for the rest of her life. I have a soft spot for Forky. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. He came into existence and is kind of like, what is happening here? And I kind of felt like that when I was offered the chance to direct Toy Story 4. <laughs> On my way, Woody! This is the first Toy Story film that's extra widescreen. <gasps> So on the IMAX screen, it's gonna look gorgeous. The detail in this film is staggering. I still can't believe how amazing this film looks. It's so immersive. Let's kaboom. Whenever I watch IMAX, I kind of forget it's a movie in a weird way. To infinity and beyond. It's so much bigger than life than you can ever imagine. 